Hi, I'm Krishna Patel, and I am from the small city of Freer, Texas, located 60 miles east of Laredo, Texas, which is the border of Mexico, and 108 miles west of Corpus Christi, which is where the Gulf of Mexico is located, and where Hurricane Harvey hit. I'm also 120 miles south of San Antonio, and a long three-hour drive from Austin, Texas. Freer is located really in the south part of Texas, so you can't really get to anything large unless you wanted to drive to Houston or Dallas. The population of Freer since 2016 is 2,748 people. That's really small, and our main source of income in this city is oil drilling. So when the oil drilling business has gone down, the amount of people living in the town decreased as well. These are the demographics of the city of Freer. As you can see, our income is probably below the country's average. We also have a large group of people living in our town that are racially diverse. We have a lot of Hispanic, white, and black people living in our town. The medium household income is $47,250. Our usual jobs are elementary teachers, caretakers, nurses, and many oil drillers that live around the city. Now I'll take you into our town. As we enter Freer, we have a small law firm that is only open sometimes because the lawyer also does other work around town. I think he's also the superintendent of schools. I'm not sure, but it's only open sometimes, so that's kind of a problem. This here is a grocery store that I used to shop at when I was a little kid all the time. I still go all the time. It's the only grocery store in town, but it's so overpriced. This is the Family Dollar and Dollar General. These are the two dollar stores in town. We also have very many banks in town. We have two banks for 2,000 people, um, but they're really rare, like small banks. This is a Shore Lake car dealership next to a motel, and my parents actually own this motel. Um, growing up, I experienced lots of business from the Chevrolet dealership because on Highway 44, lots of cars would break down, so people would come stay at a motel. Now we start counting gas stations. We have about seven in town. These are just two of them. One of them is actually closed. This is an Alamo Lumber. The, um, just a like Lowe's type of thing, like a Home Depot. This is a taco stand, and that's Liberty Cafe in the background. Liberty Cafe is like one of the most popular cafes in South Texas because it's good. This is a Dairy Queen we have in town. I spent the entire summer at Dairy Queen because we don't have anything else in town, and that's a bar. This is another one of the motels. We have around seven motels as well. Over here we have a donut shop that is closed, and a Jalisco Taquera that, um, sells tacos, good tacos, it's open right now, but it has closed five times. This is the Dusty Boot Bar, um, it's open every night. Um, there's a lot of bands that play here, so that's popular. Um, these are some hair places that people get their hair cut at, and we have a small clinic over here. And then this is Muy Grande, Muy Grande translates to um, very big in Spanish, and basically that means uh, Muy Grande in October we have hunting season. So a lot of hunters come to Muganda to um, show off their bucks and basically, you know, take pictures of their deer and themselves, which is a really big business in here. Um, over here, this is South Norton Drive. Um, basically, this is where all of our schools are at, all of our administration buildings. So this is our cafeteria, administration building, and everything else. This is our elementary website. As you can tell, it's just one website for every school, and it shows a lot of our city, so water tower. Um, city of Fair Sign and, you know, Rattlesnake. Um, we have like, a lot of resources on our website because our, since our city is so small, we have to work to increase education for our students. Um, these are some of just the people that work there. Um, they like to make sure every student knows everybody just in case someone needs help. So that's very popular as well. A lot of people use this website. Um, this is Downtown Fair, um, very abandoned. This is an abandoned movie theater and these are some any different abandoned places. Uh, we have a city hall, which I spent most of my time at this year, because I have a teacher that works there, so I always would be with her. Um, and this is her post office, very small as well. Um, 2,000 people will come get their mail literally every day, so you can see a, little, a lot of familiar faces in this town. Um, and these are just some of Thing, some of the things in town, people just park their cars here and walk around. Um, the post office usually gets packed, so people just park their cars across the street, which is normal. Um, and here we have our junior. Um, we did go down the street, but I'm going to go down again because um, a more thorough review. Um, 
This is a nail salon that's hardly ever open. Um, this is our junior high. Um, I spent like most of my school years in this place. That cafeteria is no longer there uh, because it got torn down. This is our administration building and that's a cafeteria over there. The administration building holds the library, administration staff, everything. This is our high school. Um, I just graduated from here. Very small, around 56 kids in each class, so there's around 200 people in the entire school. Um, this is our city pool, and this is our elementary school. So um, at this elementary school, this is where I moved here to this town from San Antonio. Very small elementary school, but very nice, and the demographics of this school are mainly white and Hispanic, but they'll take you in no matter what, so that's good. Um, now I'm going to give you a little overview of um, our stadium. So. Last year, we had a bond for $5 million for a stadium. Um, we had to increase our tax rates, which is kind of bad. Um, people were very upset about that, but we have a new stadium now. That used to be our stadium, um, and this is where our stadium is now. Um, and this is what it was supposed to look like. It does look like that, but um, these were like the blueprints to the stadium. Um, it was constructed by Hellas Construction from Austin, Texas, and we got a new, two new baseball softball fields. Um, a football field and a new band hall, which is still being built to this day. But um, it's a nice football field, something new in the town. Um, we've had our old one for like 72 years. So, I mean, at this point, I guess it was time to get a new one. Um, so this is a tradition that we usually have at our high school. It's called the burning of the F. Um, we basically just get a bunch of towels, put them on the F, and they light it on fire. Um, a lot of alum come to this occasion just because a lot of them a lot of the alum have not left here. But now instead of that we have a bonfire. So a long time ago we used to have bonfires but we got them banned because someone decided to get drunk and jump in the bonfire. So now we don't have them but now we have them again. So weird. Uh, but just me and my friends at the bonfire last year or senior year. And this is the coolest thing we have. I mean it's kinda weird, but it's the free rattlesnake ground up and we have this every year. This it's been going on for fifty years. And a bunch of people just bring their rattlesnakes and show them across town. We have music, we have food, we have carnival rides, um, and all the motels get packed in town. All the gas stations are loaded. Um, it's just a really popular event in our city. I probably, you guys probably have not heard of it, but if you guys are in Freer in April, come on by. So, like, these are, like, famous artists, like Signo, I've never heard of them. They're Spanish artists in the South Texas area, very famous. Google them. Um, and we also have a parade on the Saturday morning of our festival. This parade invites everyone from the surrounding areas, like pageant queens and stuff, so they can show, like, this is someone from Sandia, um, which means watermelon in Spanish. Um, and we just have a bunch of people just show off with their stuff in the parade, which is totally cool. And we also have, like, Rattler royalty queens and stuff, which is them. Um, and there, it's a pageant that's hosted every year. It's called the Free Rattlesnake Royalty Pageant which is totally cool. Um, there's a talent section, all that stuff, and they just get to represent our city, which is cool. Yeah, that was like Roundup 2017. So when you enter our town, you actually run into this rattlesnake, <laughs> and it's, we kind of call it the world's largest rattlesnake. This is actually where it's held every year. It's called our airport, um, and we have banners that say, like, come back in April. Um, and this is a rattlesnake, and that's a little Texas behind it. It says, like, the official rattlesnake ground up in Texas. I know there's, like, a couple of them around Texas, but, you know, they're the best um, for Texas. So, um, this is, like, probably the most artsy thing we have in town, except our mural. Our mural is totally cool. Um, but, yeah, it's for Texas. Rattlesnake ground up. Come on by. So, fur is a beautiful place to grow up. I remember always being always going to the swings at my elementary school and exploring to find waterways in town and not the refinery of our city water. For it has this beautiful mural in the town that states every exactly what our city is, a community in unity. Even though our small town doesn't have a Walmart, Starbucks, even a Chick-fil-A, we are used our small town because it's ours. After moving to Austin, I realized that our small town is nice for me because even everyone was close and I hope to find that in Austin someday. So this is just a mural with everything we have, um, and this is for Texas, even though it's like a small dot on the map, um, really small dot. Um, it means a lot to the people that live in the town, just because there's like around 2,000 people that live there, and some of the people in that town have lived there their entire lives. So where is really meaningful to 2,756 people that live there apparently, 
but it's just a small speck on the globe, so it's really cute, and we love it.